So I'm going to talk to you about freeform optics, particularly in the context of using, of shaping laser beams to improve laser material processing. So a little bit first about paraphotonic. We manufacture freeform optics from our site in Delgate Bay in Scotland. We've been shipping these optics for about 15 years and we make them all in a wafer uh, type process in our cleaning facility. And we, we manufacture the process after cell, which gives us a unique capability to make uh, freeform optics at quite small length scales. And one of the main applications for these optics for us is in laser beam shaping. And we supply the laser beam shaping across quite a wide range of markets from medical, where people want to shape beams for, you know, give you a uniform beam to remove your tattoos, through to a range of applications in science and defense and imaging, uh, but one of the widest ranges of applications is in laser material processing and industrial applications. So they have macro processing, people want to control the beam shape to cut and weld steel or to do additive manufacture. And micro processing, again, very precisely controlled beams to ablate or mark or drill. And then in more recent developments in wafer and glass processing, it's about cutting glass, uh, about annealing uh, surfaces and about uh, high power uniform UV for laser liftoff processes. In all these, in all these cases, um, the challenge is to take a laser beam that's typically either Gaussian or some other shape that's not matched to the process and match that on to the process. And by match on to the process, typically you're trying to get as much of that power or fluence above a process threshold and the rest of it, you, you know, you, you want to minimize. Um, other applications are about managing the heat flow across the part. So in that case, you want, you want unusually shaped beams to heat specific regions. But the, the overall theme is precise control of that beam shape and profile so that it's defined by the application and not by the laser source. And in doing that, of course, you want high efficiency because you can generate all sorts of beam profiles by masking beams. But in most of these applications, Customers want, you know, 90, 95, 99% efficiency. They need optics with very low to scatter and very low absorption loss. Because typically in the applications we work in there, we're dealing with high power beams, uh, often multi-kilowatt. These days, often uh, well above 10 kilowatts, CW. And also multi-dual beams in the nanosecond, picosecond, and now femtosecond regimes, where again, absorption loss and scatter uh, are all, uh, must all be kept at very low levels. And we shape these beams using a free form direct right process that we developed at Perfidonic. Now I'm not going to go into the detail of the process works, but really the point is that we can make everything from fairly arbitrary A-sphere type shapes, you know, rotationally symmetric shapes down to arrays of these shapes on wafers, then to arrays where every single lens element is different. And we can even make surfaces that look completely random, so completely freeform surfaces. And these are the surfaces we use for beam shaping. We make similar surfaces for things like phase correction and some clever image processing techniques as well. The usual beam shaping configuration is you have a, um, a lens to bring the beam to a focus. And before that, you place your beam shaper to change the far field of the beam. And that then create, that then changes the near field in a process plane. And the design of all this starts with the beam properties. It depends on the input beam shape. It depends on the input beam spatial coherence. So we've got two very different classes of beam shaper that we use depending on whether you're using a near single mode beam. So a single mode beam typically from a fiber laser or a solid state laser or a few mode beam, again, from the same kind of source. And for those, we use field mappers that can stretch the beam either radially or in the Cartesian uh, reference frame to make things like flat tops, flat top discs, flat top annuli, squares, etc. cetera. Um, and in that case, there's quite a close relationship with the input beam and the design of the beam shaper. We also make multi-mode homogenizer beam shapers where the way they're designed is essentially you slice up the input beam into lots of sub-apertures, you shape each individual sub-aperture and then you overlay them all so that you get the beam shape that you want, whether that be circular or square or a line focus. 
Um, and so the important thing that freeform gives you is that freedom to choose not just the spot shape, but the spot intensity distribution. So that means we can design beam shapers and manufacture them to give you not just a flat top or a Gaussian beam, but an M profile with a dot in the middle, uh, um, which is also called a, a trident profile. Or we can also, using the same process, make um, hexagon type beam shapers to produce bessel and bessel like beams. Those are the distributions that you can generate. And you can, most of these, you can make them in either a rectilinear format or as a line or as a circular with uh, circular symmetry. So you get annuli discs, etc. So Freeform gives you that design freedom for beam shapers. You're not restricted to one shape. So that's the range of beam shapes we make with this process. Something that's already been mentioned is rapid prototyping. So most of the work we do, we do a custom design for a specific application and we optimize the process usually because tolerances are quite demanding. Where um, a customer already has, has a design or, or where the manufacturing process isn't pushing our, isn't being pushed to its limits, we have a rapid prototyping approach where within a 15 by 15 millimeter clear aperture, we can make a free form optic and that's, that's completely free form and give you a two week turnaround. We have a macro in ZMAX. So basically you can hit a button in ZMAX and turn your design into a point cloud, upload that to our server, and then we can ship an optic back to you. So yeah, rapid prototyping is available in free form optics. And I guess one, one last point in this area, a, a nod to another uh, technology and project going on. We also are part of the fabulous pilot line. So we make masters to be used in replicated optics in that. So a lot of the things I've described so far are for relatively high performance uh, and low to medium volume applications. We're also part of this project for doing very high volume freeform optics through replication. Uh, so based on all that, onto the, the, fab, the epic questions, what can we do for you? So we can make application specific beam shapers, tailored to your source, tailored to your process requirements, and they are manufactured in high purity fused silica that allows you to use them with a broad range of pulse widths from CW to femtosecond, wavelengths from UV to near IR, and they handle very high powers and very high fluences. Things you're interested in discussing with people, well, as already been mentioned, metrology is always a challenge in freeform optics. There is no single tool that can do everything. Everyone doing freeform needs a range of tools and quite a wide range of skills and expertise. So new metrology solutions that expand the limits of surface metrology, particularly in terms of combinations of slope and curvature and spatial resolution are of great interest. And also uh, systems that measure functional performance of optics as well, because I think you'll find that Optics vendors often end up developing their own test equipment there, um, but we'd always ra we'd rather focus on making optics and equipment. So anyone who can make functional testers for freeform optics is of great interest. We're also interested in complementary manufacturing processes, things that you can do to freeform surfaces. So one example, for example, is uh, well, it's easy to make a blocker like a chrome blocker or um, a black uh, coating on a flat surface but it's very difficult to get the to get high precision in blocker application on freeform surfaces. So we're certainly interested in anyone who can do that. And also in the other manufacturing processes that go around their optics, such as module assembly. And we're always interested in new applications that we can partner on, new material processing requirements, new beam profile requirements for other applications and new systems and module concepts. Okay. Thank you, Jose. Back to you.